We're gonna talk about everything you need to know about Blast, metrics, scores, and how to use them within the app. We're gonna do this in one easy video so we can understand all we need to know and get going on hitting. Blast has swing metrics and impact metrics. Swing metrics measure the coordination and control pattern of the athlete. In simple terms, that's how the athlete moves from swing to swing and how consistent they are. Our impact metrics are letting us know what's going on at contact with our bat and our body so that we can get some reference. We'll dive into each of these specifically so we can understand what's going on. Now, Blast also has swing quality scores, which score our swing metrics, or how we move, based on the level of play or goal that we select in the app. The first we're gonna cover is plane. Our metric here is on plane efficiency. Every hitter has a swing plane for every pitch. What we do is we take your vertical bat angle at impact and work backwards to create an ellipse around your body. We're letting you know how long the barrel was on that swing plane throughout your swing. It's important to call out here that every swing has its own swing plane based on impact. We work backwards from there and create the swing plane. One of the easiest ways to stay on plane is to get connected early and stay connected throughout our swing. This brings us to our second metric that we're gonna talk about. Getting connected early and staying connected are things that BLAST measures. Now, everyone's gonna have their own personal stance, style, rhythm, and the way they go about hitting. But BLAST is measuring your swing from the start of rotation or the beginning up until impact. This is the 0.12 to 0.2 seconds where all the money's made. This is where your swing happens and what we're trying to do. And that's what BLAST measures. So, as the bat begins from load into rotation, BLAST measures the relationship between your body tilt and your vertical bat angle. You're looking for 90 degrees. As you begin to rotate, you want to stay connected up until impact. Connection at impact measures the relationship between your body tilt and your vertical bat angle at impact. If you're connected both early and at impact, you'll have a good swing plane because all you're doing is rotating the bat around your body to stay on plane. You've heard getting connected early and staying connected to impact your whole life. Blast is not measuring it. The third swing metric we're going to cover is rotational acceleration. This is how quickly the bat accelerates from load into rotation. This is the zero to 60 time of our swing. Now, let's talk about cars for a sec. A sports car and a Honda Civic are both going down the freeway at 60 miles an hour. This is our bat speed at impact. But the sports car gets zero to 60 much faster than our sedan or our Honda Civic going down the road. Rotational acceleration is the same thing, but with our bat into the swing. The quicker we can do this, the more time the hitter has to see the pitch and make a decision. This also directly relates to power because my bat is accelerating quickly and all the way up until contact. Rotational acceleration is a huge indication of how well the hitter sequences. If the hitter uses their body and then their hands, the bat is whipped into the swing plane as opposed to hitters who use their hands early have to pull the bat and it's much slower. Rotational acceleration is measured in Gs. The higher, the better are three swing metrics of plane, connection, which is compiled of early connection and connection and impact, and rotational acceleration will give you not only the metric, which is the actual metric you captured, we'll score that metric based on your level of play or the goal that you select in the app. Stay with us, but today we covered plane, connection, rotation, our swing metrics, our impact metrics, and our swing quality scores. This is a great start. Now it's time for you to grab your sensor, your bat, and start taking some swings.